Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to my den where we're going to share another shave. Today, we're using CBL's Ghost Lime. Um, this is one, another one that got discovered as I was fidgeting around in my soap locker. Now I'd forgotten, I didn't realize because I started going into the aftershaves and I found just a, just a cursory glance, an odd citrus musk, which is a lime, Old Spice, fresh lime, and Seaforth's spiced lime. I'm seeing a theme here. I must like limes. It's a classic scent and it's probably one of the older favorites. I even like lime jello. That was, it's kind of, I don't know if that's meme worthy or not, but I used to sometimes kind of make fun of green jello. I like green jello. Sometimes with pears in it. You know, that, that, I mean, I'm old, so that's probably not surprising. But that was a very often supplied side dish at church potlucks, which I frequent. So, and just by accident, I'm wearing a green shirt today. Today's razor is a Gillette uh, super, super adjustable. Um, this is kind of the last iteration of the great adjustable uh, razors. Uh, this is an older one, you see it by the fact it's got a metal bottom here. The newer ones are the, well, less old maybe, uh, have uh, plastic here, but this is a metal one. I have, there's two of this kind too. This is a shorter one, and the longer, uh, the longer one has, it's about this much longer. A great razor, just a evolution of the uh, slim which is also wonderful. I made a concerted effort to collect all the modern era or latter era Gillettes. They ended up having a bunch of razors because once they found out, friends found out that I was collecting them seems every Sunday I'd go to church and a couple of these would end up in my pocket. People would bring them in because older fellows were no longer using single edge and had converted over to uh, cartridge type razors. Um, so, oh, there's Rich is kind of collecting those. Let me, I'm not using this, let's let him have it. So that's how I ended up with a whole bunch of these things. Got a couple real beauties out of that too, other other than Gillette, which you know we'll talk about or I'll show you sometime. Uh, pretty darn good. When was my last shave? Was that Sunday? Congratulations to the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Or they're miraculous victory in the Super Bowl. I mean, out of nowhere, that was an amazing game. I, I said I didn't, I didn't have a dog in the race, which is a good thing because both teams left it all on the field. They were hurting each other, getting injured, injuring themselves, just pushing to try to win that game. And, uh, How it came out was pretty excellent. You couldn't ask for a better outcome where just in the last minute or so, in an overtime in this case, victory is snatched out of the jaws of defeat. Somebody does uh, comes through in the last minute
to win the game. All kinds of movies are like that, you know? You'd think there'd be a movie about this. I wouldn't doubt that there would be one someday. someday. This is a, one of the older, one of my older brushes. He is starting to lose hairs. It's gonna be re knotted here at some point. This is the uh, an anniversary shaving cadre brush. Um, I don't remember what number I was for this. But I think of all the batch, these were made by Eric Sorrentino of the greater Detroit area. I think, of, and he made them kind of a limited number. It's just, you had to sign up for him to get them from the saving cadre. And I think of all the ones he made, I think mine was the was the most attractive of them. And you can ask any of the guys on the cadre, and they will tell you exactly the same thing. That I think mine is the best looking. And of course, they're talking about theirs, not necessarily mine, mine. But they will say exactly mine is the best looking. Good deal of pride goes into that. Very proud of our boy, Eric, for making the, this is a hobby of his, but he's so wonderful at it that, I hope you see this, Eric, is throwing, I love your way for these things. Thank you. Not a lot else to talk about. The weather's, we're getting winter back. I was a little bit upset about that. We uh, had a few days of kind of spring-like weather, just enough to trigger spring fever. And then it turned cold again, but sun shining. So maybe we're done with the drearious Maximus and one thing is, I'm doing an awful lot of stream of consciousness here. Uh, this is a great razor. Uh, don't have anywhere to go, but I did a, you guys don't see me do a four pass shave very often, so I figured it was time. To do that and I can guarantee you I am slick as can be I like this blade this is a Gillette Ruby normally I, I use Wizomets which is kind of my blade of choice but I have a goodly number of other other blades I picked the Ruby out of the pile four just because I was going for a red themed shave. Now let me do the owl thing. And uh, kind of glad it did some nice blades. Very good, very sharp, very smooth. I just happen to have a whole ton of Wizomats, which are discontinued. I don't know if rubies are or not. I have to look that up. There's been some noise and rumblings of uh, razor blade factory shutting down in Russia and moving production elsewhere in the world. Which is a shame because that, those machineries in Russia was originally the Gillette machines. Either got shipped over or uh, technology was signed over. We use a little Thayer's lemon for our, which hazel. Now which, which, which lime will we use? Well, I like Old Spice. This is a, uh, not Schulten. This is like a, this came out, oh, it's made by Procter & Gamble. Manufactured in Mumbai, this is a fairly uncommon, and it's weird that a 
an aftershave would come out of a pump bottle like this, but it just sprays out. I don't know if you're supposed to spray it on yourself or what, but. Old Spice Lime. I have a bottle of it from when I was 15 or 16. I got it as a Christmas present. Mom and Dad, uh, I was just starting to sprout little, little whiskerlings and I got a, a razor and a aftershave assortment and um, I still have that bottle somewhere. I saw it just the other day and I can't remember where it was, otherwise it'd be up here in the collection. Anyway, that's it for today's shave. I am slick as can be. Let's add a little shot of powder. Thank you so much for coming. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Have any questions, comments, or requests for interesting shaves? I'm open to anything. Leave a comment. And uh, I'm Major Rich. I got to tell you who I am, Major Rich. I'm at theshavingcadre.com. Uh, please come visit us. This is a great place to be. Tonight will be a, a, uh, a live call on uh, Drinks and Dave's on the YouTube, which is a, a great fun thing to do. And uh, if you're seeing me and you made it this far, do me a favor, like, subscribe, share with somebody you think would like this, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.